We're going to have a look at one more example question involving the cosine rule. They give me a triangle and they want me to find the size of angle X. And um, before, I, of course, now I know uh, it's the cosine rule that they're looking for, but I should ask myself the following questions. Well, naturally, we can't use Pythagoras' theorem eh, to find an angle. But can I use ordinary trigonometry sine, cosine, and tangent to find the size of x? No, I can't because there's no right angle. It's not a right angle triangle. Yeah? I move on. The next question I ask myself, can I use the sine rule to find its value of x? Well, the sine rule, I need a teammate length for the angle, and I have that. And I need a full team length and angle. I have the length but no angle. I have the length but no angle. And I also can't find those angles somehow. So no, the sine rule is gone as well, out of the window. Cosine rule is really your last option, yeah? So, but ask yourself those questions eh, before you just, as a machine, apply the cosine rule. Yeah, that's no fun, we're not machines. Make sure you know what you're doing. Cosine rule, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus two bc times the cosine of a. Considering we are looking for the angle now, I'm going to rearrange the cosine rule a bit. Start with the equal sign. So it says the cosine of A equals and then everything else. Okay, so I'm leaving the B squared at C squared where they are. And I'm going to move the A squared to the other side. So the sine changes minus A squared. Now I just want to say, of course you're not moving anything. Eh? I'm taking a squared away on the left side, so I gotta take a squared away on the right side for it to be equal, okay? But I know you guys like to say or think that you're moving, so I'm just keep, uh, I'm just using your words now. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with this term. I'm gonna move it to the left side, and what happens to the sign if I do so? It changes, so on the left side of the equal sign, this becomes two times b times c times the cosine of a. But I don't want to know what 2 times b times c times the cosine of a equal to. I want to know what the cosine of a equals to. So the last thing I have to do, eh, and then I've rearranged the formula, is I divide both sides by 2 times b times c. Okay, I've rearranged the formula. Now, before I just, again, as a machine, start plugging in some values, I really got to take care that I assign the correct length, the correct value to a. Because if I'm looking for Angle A, that is his corresponding length. Yeah, they correspond. So if that is the angle I'm looking for, A in my equation in a minute is going to be 15. That's very important that you, that you take some time to really decide, make that decision, eh? to make that active decision. Okay? B and C don't really matter. You can call this B, that C, or the other way around. However, 15 has got to be the A in this case. All right. And if we, once we've made that decision, we can continue. 7 squared plus 10 squared minus 15 squared, that's the important one, divided by 2 times 7 times 10, or the other way around. Yeah, leave it up to you. Now you can get your calculator out if you like, uh, but where's the fun? Yeah, where's the fun if you let the calculator do all the work? This is 49 at 100, take away 225, and all of that divided by 140. Yeah. 14 uh, times 10, you add the zero there if you like. Okay, so the cosine of A equals, now Now perhaps you want to get your calculator out, although still it's not really necessary, uh, 149 take away 225 divided by 140 equals, and it says minus 0.54285. 71429. I really want you to write down those decimals. Yeah? Do not start rounding yet because you're not finished yet because that's the cosine of A. Who cares about the cosine of A? I want to know what A equals to. I want to know the value of X. Yeah? Looks like an obtuse angle, although those diagrams are never to scale, uh, drawn to scale. Yeah? But how do I find the angle? Well, I do the inverse of minus 0.54. 2857, yeah. So I grab my calculator, shift cosine of that particular answer, and therefore A equals 122.8783 degrees, and angles, indeed obtuse, like I expected, angles you always give not to three significant figures, one decimal place, yeah. 
122.9 degrees. Fantastic. We've done Pythagoras. We have done trigonometry, and then we are talking about right angle triangles. We can calculate lengths and angles, but we also have two strategies to calculate angles and lengths in triangles, which are not right angle triangles. Sine rule, that's the one you first check. Cosine rule, which is really your last resort. Yeah, After the cosine rule, there's nothing left, all right? So keep puzzling, have some fun, yeah, because these are great questions. And um, yeah, you should try to enjoy them a little bit. Okay, see you at the next topic and have a nice evening.